everyone, it's Char. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling better. Hmm. I had a comment from a person that I don't even know. So, when somebody calls you dear and says, and I'm just going to point it out. and says that they've dealt with Hashimoto's for 13 years. <laughs> but your icon picture is a picture of you drinking an alcoholic beverage. You're not supposed to be drinking alcohol when you have a Hashimoto's disease. You're not even supposed to touch it. Um, and I had always been around when I was a little girl that some of the ladies, the elders, uh, they had beautiful, very witchy gardens full of herbs and spices, you know, onions. Mm. It's like one half of their garden would be spices and herbs and stuff like that, you know, for healing. So I grew up with some, and these are the people that actually cared and would not hurt me, unlike the people that raised me. Um, so I grew up around homeopathic remedy, right? And I discussed this with my endocrinologist yesterday. So for somebody to say, oh, dear, you need to go see a naturopath. First of all, my insurance doesn't cover naturopath. Um, no. Um, I do know about naturopath myself enough to know how to take care of it. So, I discussed that with my endo yesterday. So, she said, stay with the electrolyte. And there is a way to do that at home. Is, don't, don't use that pink Himalayan salt. Okay, don't use that. That shit is just that it's shit. Um, most of the time, it doesn't even come from an actual vein of pink Himalayan salt, it comes from a dirty part. Okay. Bleh. Um, I don't use table salt, but one of the ladies, she used to, instead of her hot coffee in the morning, she would start her morning off with a hot cup of water, and she would put a little bit of salt in there, not too much, just enough. And sometimes she would add freshly dried mint leaf, fresh. Or she would just add in, you know, just freshly picked mint leaf in there. Stir that around until, the, you know, you can't see the salt. The mint is in there to help with the natural pathway for your digestive and to clean out your dang colon. So that's just a different way to do that. Maybe one day I will show you how to do that. We will see. But that is actually approved by my endocrinologist. And my endocrinologist loves naturopath. So do I actually see a naturopath in a way? Perhaps. But, uh, yeah. So, some of us out here, we know the natural pathway. You ever give um, peppermint water to a baby? You know what that's for? Mm-hmm. So that they don't experience that problem. I used to do that with my kids. So, think about that. 